And this is the uh, main activity area. A lot of functions are going to be happening in here. Um, to my right, we're going to have classrooms. And there's going to be a food holding area. These two locations. Uh, going back towards the left. This area here. We're going to have a folding petition here. Dividing these two spaces. Uh, this is going to be a secondary activity area. It's a small one that can be opened up to be one big, large room. Um, again, for there's, there's two functions here: council on aging and uh, daycare. Which the, their offices are going to be located on the other side of the wall. We got a new elevator coming in here for access to the lower level. Prep area is going to be. Uh, as food comes in, for, and I believe food's coming from the outside, it's either going to be prepared to be distributed here, and this is going to be the holding area where it can be distributed out into the open areas. At this location, we're going to be, there's going to be a sliding partition dividing the two activity spaces, the larger activity space and the smaller activity space. Um, and it's going to be a sliding folding type of partition that's going to open up in either direction to divide the two spaces. Uh, the columns, uh, they're, they're an existing feature. This is more decorative, what you're seeing. The structural elements inside the column, but we thought it would be a really interesting feature if we left the columns and worked our framing around it. So this, is, uh, this is the existing mezzanine. Um, I don't, I, I can't really classify what it's going to be used for right now because there really is no classification. It could be storage, could be uh, just extra space, but there's no, it's not a defined space, meaning it's not going to be used for a specific activity as of yet. An alternate uh, activity area as well, it's just going to be wide open. Access is through the elevator or multiple stairs. Uh, this uh, platform is going to remain.